There we go. Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today, we're going to be reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. This is a three-card general reading. So take the messages that resonate. Um, if you guys would like to check out what's going on with you personally in your life, you can hit me up on LadyScorpiusTarot.com. All the information in the description box below. I also have spiritual products on my website that I want you guys to check out as well. Please give me a big fat thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Shout out to my, shout out to my new subscribers. I appreciate the love and support. And let's get straight into it, Aries. All right. Universal spirit, angels, ascending gods, and masses. Give me messages from my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. I ask for you to give me messages. I love light and clarity. What can Aries expect in a love life for the month of March 2021? General messages only. I ask for you to give me messages. I love light and clarity for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. What message do you... Oh, oh here you go. Okay. The overall energy is true love. So I do feel like some of my areas, you do have true love in your life. Um, the first call we have is healing family issues. The second call we have is deception. And then the next call we have is reconciliation. So I do see like this month is geared to romance for you. This month is all about love. And I feel like some of you guys are moving towards a, a partner that you feel as genuine. I feel like some of you guys are connecting with true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. That's what spirit says. So, you know, enjoy this moment. Don't let nobody block you. I feel like some of you guys could be have in the past could have dealt with some type of issues with an ex-partner. Because we have reconciliation and deception. So I feel I feel like um <clears throat> you could have been dealing with somebody that you had children with, or it could be an ex-partner. You can be healing family issues with your partner or like trying to co-parent right now, even though you're moving towards a new love right now. Um, I feel like with the reconciliation um card, maybe somebody from your past, you could have went back to somebody from your past areas and you tried to fix things with this person. And they returned back to your life. And I felt like it was a lot of deception because we had deception. So somebody is definitely wearing a false mask in this relationship. I feel like for some of you guys, it was deceptiveness going on with your past partner. And now that you're moving on towards a true love, I feel like this person is trying to come back and reconcile. But stay clear from any false flags. I mean, any red flags or fake lies or deceit that this person could be giving you. With reconciliation, I feel like for some of you guys, it could have been somebody from your past that returned back to your life. And maybe you could be trying to start something new for some of you guys. You could have known somebody your past life um i just feel like this like it's different energies going on I'm do i do see for some of you guys you do have a true love coming in and it could be somebody that returned back to you from the past maybe it was the person that got away you guys probably had like a crush on each other or really liked each other but you never had the time <clears throat> to actually see where the relationship would go because maybe you were involved in the relationship at the time and maybe that other person male or female um was involved in a situation at, at at the time as well so maybe you guys had to like leave each other and come back to each other in this present moment in order for things to work um but i do see like the energy of you working on healing family issues this month and working on you know seeing people for who they truly are they feeling you a lot of lies and bullshit and also re reconciling with somebody that you truly love or somebody that truly loves you and wants to make this work so let's go ahead and get into it all right universal spirit clarify healing family issues for my aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. Why is healing family issues here for my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I feel like for some of you guys, it's time for you to heal family issues with maybe your dad or your mom, or maybe you had to mend things, you know, because it really affected you. Whatever childhood traumas that some of my areas was going through, it truly, truly did affect your love life. Um, Maybe you had like a, a codependent issues because, you know, you were scared to always be left alone, or maybe you felt like your parent, maybe your parent was always on the go. Maybe you, some of you guys could have had a parent that was incarcerated or just wasn't there or died or whatever at a young age whatever it is some of you guys could have been very addicted or codependent at one point in time because you had a problem with letting go you had a problem with being by yourself and i feel like you guys really truly worked on that okay you could have worked on some family issues and some and you could have mended some things within yourself and did some type of shadow work and now the heck now the fact that you healed some family issues and you're working through it your love life will benefit more and it's going to evolve i see soulmates right here so i see a soulmate coming in you guys have a soulmate that's coming towards you this is a true uh 
partnership. This is soul contract, soul agreements, okay? So this is a person that was destined to be in your life. Maybe you guys knew each other from a past life and that you guys came together in this present moment because like I said, behind that card, we had past life relationship, okay? And then we have abundance. So you healing family issues is going to bring in abundance. You have to keep a, po a positive mindset. And once you do that, you can manifest whatever you want out of love because the healing is going to be there to help you evolve your love life and open up your heart space, okay? Okay. Um, but I do see some of you guys being grateful from learning from past traumas and lessons and healing and doing the shadow work or whatever. You guys will bring in bliss, okay? Because I feel like at one point in time, like I said, with the addictions being here, you had some type of codependencies when it came to love, some type of obsessions. Maybe some of you guys could have been very obsessive, possessive, controlling, and had a lot of blockages that was really, really affecting your love life, okay? But you're moving towards something passionate, a person that's really passionate about you. You guys are going to be equally attracted to each other, equally share the same chemistry and you will have a lot of fun with this person that's why i say you have true love coming towards you and as you can see this these two people are in love you know he gonna keep it in the back um that shot them with the love bow but the love arrow but at the same time you can see these people are truly equally devoted and into each other so i do see some of my areas is going to be moving into that type of energy because we do have paradise coming after that so it's going to be blissfulness okay you have true love coming in it's going to be it's going to bring in happiness enjoyment you know it's going to expand your, your mind and expand your heart space and expand your life i feel like you're going to have a person your partner that's coming in can be very playful they could really really enjoy you as a person and just really enjoy um, just could be very grateful for you, vice versa. So let's go ahead and get into deception, okay? Why is the deception card here for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021 for their love life? Clarify the deception card for my Aries for the month of March 2021 and they love life. Clarify the deception card for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. Okay, so we have the Phoenix, we have Heartbroken, and we have Cassette. Okay, so you, some of you guys in the past, I feel like this is past energy, or you guys could be currently releasing this energy, okay? Some of you guys are going through a new phase in your life. You guys are overgrowing from deceptive partners, okay? You're no longer wanting to be with people that wear false self masks. You guys are going into a new chapter in your life. You're feeling renewed. Um, this is a new phase. You guys are trying to transform and grow and have a new change of mind when it comes to what you want and what you go after in love, okay? And what you deserve. I feel like a lot of you guys was deeply heart heartbreaking heartbroken in the past so can currently be trying to work through heartbreak okay you could be mourning a loss or feeling like you lost somebody or you know maybe for some of you guys it could have been a really really long relationship that you were in and even though it was a lot of deception you try to stick it out and now that you release it you know you feel deeply hurt you could have been really saddened about the separation that you had to go through and a breakup that you went through in the past with a person to try to come back and reconcile or a person that's just an ex um but like i said like these things are outdated for your life, Aries, and it was conditioning you to a point where as though it had it was putting a lot of restrictions in your love life, okay? And in your personal life as well. And I feel like some of you guys just kept replaying old events and just, you know, having nostalgic thoughts about what could I have done differently or why did this go this way or whether it went wrong or whatever. A lot of you guys were stuck in your head about this deceptive partner that you was coming out of or that you actually just just released out your life for some of you guys but i feel like you know it's no more you know heartbreak you guys are moving forward you understand that you know in order to get into a relationship you got to learn the person because a lot of people wear false self masks you, you see people for who they truly are now and now that you see people for who they truly are and you can make the clear decision to move forward with your love life you can move forward as the phoenix and start a new phase okay which i feel like a new phase is coming which is true love, okay? So let's go ahead and get into reconciliation. Why is the reconciliation card here for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021? Um, I feel like, hold on. Some of you guys were definitely dealing with a runner, somebody that kept running back and, to, back and forth towards you. They was very codependent. They was having fear of losing you because, you know, they was listening to their ego, but they never really truly wanted to commit. They was always in and out, kind of like third partying. This person was very, like, attracted to you or you were very attracted to this person. This person had the gift of seduction, okay? So I feel like this person was also, like, dating other people behind your back and hooking up. And at one point in time, it had you in a lot of third parties. And they could have tried to come back to stop you from your personal growth because they see that you're moving towards your destiny which is true love so stay clear from that but whoever this person is coming back 
they trying to play their hands, okay? They're trying to play their cards right. They're, trying to, they're not trying to show their hands. It's like this person wants you to come back. They want you to take a risk or whatever like that. They're not showing you their hands. It's like they got a lot of options right now. But it's like the only reason why I feel like this person is trying to reconcile for some of my areas is because they, they, they keep going back on the memories that you guys once had. They don't know how to let go because they can be codependency and they can be reminiscing or whatever like that and don't want to release you. But I feel like for the most part, Aries, it's time for you guys to move forward and go towards your true love. Now, let's go ahead and clarify this true love. Why is true love here for my Aries? Because I just want to see what's coming in. Clarify true love for my Aries for March 2021. Kisses. Okay, so now it's like some of you guys, at one point in time, you felt like you was the chaser. You always had to chase people in relationships. You always was dealing with partners that were running from you, Aries. This is male and female. And, you know, I feel like some of you guys did have abandonment issues. And like I said, it could have stemmed from childhood, maybe from your parents. Maybe some of your parents abandoned you when you were child, a child. Or maybe some of them could have got it. Like some of you guys, your parents could have, could have been incarcerated or just died when you were young. I'm sorry if that happened to you. My condolences. But I feel like it actually triggered some things. And it started some things. It conditioned you to a point where so you became over, you know, codependent in certain situations when you truly, truly felt like you was invested in a person or you loved them. And I feel like it just came from abandonment issues. And you was always the chaser in, in, in relationships, chasing after people, trying to get somebody to see what you are worth or trying to get somebody to love you the way you love them. But you don't no longer have to do that no more, Aries, because with the kisses card, you have unconditional love coming your way. This person that's coming your way will be true love. They're going to give you unconditional conditional love they're going to be giving you giving and receiving towards you equally so everything is going to be a give and take equally a balance okay they're going to have a lot of affection for you and i feel like you're falling in love already with this person you could have already met this person or could be already dating them now aries okay so that's what i have for you guys take the messages that resonate if they resonate leave a comment below give me a big fat thumbs up i'll see you guys next month peace